The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. We got Carlos from California. Carlos, what's happening? How you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, How man. Are you? Yourself? Oh, very well. Thank you. That's awesome, Thank man. Thank you very much. Can I make a comment real quick? Absolutely. For me, it's a, it's a real challenge every time I, I'm doing a trade. And thanks to your help, it, it, I've been able to done a lot of things as far as trading. And uh, I know there's a lot of Hispanic people who are listening, and they think this is a lot hotter than it looks. But with your help, it's been a lot easier to make things sound very simple. That's a beautiful yeah, thing, man. Well, listen, Thank we appreciate you. it. We appreciate it. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action. You can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon that idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 313, NASDAQ's down 108, S&Ps are down 41, gold contract down $8.10, trading at 1,331 an ounce. Silver, down 43 cents, $19.24 an ounce. Copper, down a penny and a half at 208 a pound. Light sweet crude off a buck 70, $45.92 a barrel. Bonds, you get the 10 year note, down 11 ticks, 130, 11, 30 a bond off a full point, 19 ticks, 166.27. What you have with the bonds, folks, the bonds rang the bell basically. On Wednesday, we had the bonds try to get to the top of the consolidation, failed on price, couldn't handle it, goes south yesterday, wide price spread, accelerated volume, does the exact same today, bonds are going lower, yields are going higher, king dollar, king dollar up 309 ticks, trading at 95.37, king dollar wants to go up and trade to its July high, which is the 97.50 mark, we have the euro trading at $1.12, and the yen is at 102 and three quarters. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, guess what, folks? We've been in the same place since the July 14th area. Well, guess what? In four hours, it just took back everything. We're back actually under the July 14th consolidation. And we got what? We get monster volume. The door is never big enough when everyone wants to get out. And guess what? They're trapped like rats at the high. With 152 million on the way down, that's after making a high with 76 million. We're gonna end up doing maybe 175. This uh, spy right now is on its way down to 210. Right now you're at 214.21. Uh, NDX 100, same type of setup in the NDX 100. What do you have with the NDX? NDX, uh, we're back to the July 27th. Uh, trading day, four or five hours, um, you're down $2.40, you're trading at $114, and same type of situation. 39 million shares are coming out of the market. Uh, I suspect the queues are going to start making their way back to 111. And in both cases, meaning in the S&P and in the queue, what they'll do, I suspect first, is that they're going to go where they had broken topside from in July 11th. And we'll see um, how fast and furious you can get down into those levels. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold contract trading down 820, you're at 1333. And this is not bad compared to what the, the actual equities have done. Uh, what you have here is this, however, with gold. Gold couldn't make it to a swing point. Wednesday, great day in gold. You had the wide price spread, you had the volume, but guess what? Didn't make it to a swing point. That is saying that someone was up there selling and at swing points, that's where the market talks, walks and squawks. Bottom line, gold's going to make, right, make a rundown for the lowest swing point of September 1st at the uh, 12, uh, at the 1305 area, and we'll see uh, if, in fact, it wants to blow that away. Now, let's go over to the bond market. So, go to notes first. What you're going to see is this. 
The 10 year is trading down 11 ticks, 130, 11. You broke the consolidation, broke the bottom of the consolidation. Uh, this is saying that the, we'll get, we're on the way to 130. Uh, I, we take the 30 year, what you're gonna see is this. 30 year is down a point and a half, uh, blew away the consolidation we're in. You traded at 168.14, that is now on the way down to the 165.25 level. So bonds wanna continue to lower. We are getting wide price spread, accelerated volume in the bond market, and you're getting a continuation of that. If we go over and we take a look at the TLT, which is the ETF for the 20-year bond fund plus, you're gonna see that you came down with volume yesterday. We did uh, 14 million shares. It blew away the swing points today. We had 9 million shares. Um, that's gonna have the volume also. Uh, the TLT is on its way down to 132. Right now you're at 135.60. King dollar, what do we have with King dollar? Let's go take a look at King dollar. So as bonds go higher, bottom line, King dollar, as, well, as bonds go lower, higher yield, you have King dollar wanting to move to higher price. And King dollar right now is trading at a price point of $95.37. Uh, your first swing area that it wants to go after is the high that was generated out here August 20, August 31st. Uh, that number is the uh, 96.25. What I expect you're going to see is that King Doll is going to go after the 97.62 area, and that number is the July high. Now, I'm going to put the King Dollar on a continuous contract. The reason I'm going to do that is to show you, you know, as we get up to this level, you know, you so you can make the case on a trend basis that when King Dollar went topside on the uh, 24th of June, you can make the case that King Dollar actually wants to go up to 100. So you want to keep your eye on King Dollar in a big way. Um, you know, the, the first swing that we have to get by is 97.58. And if King Dollar goes to 100, folks, okay, this market's going to take conniptions because the market is as the market was years ago, it cannot stand King Dollar. Just can't, hand, just can't handle it, doesn't like it, all of the above. Um, silver, we take a look at the silver market. We have with silver out here is this. Silver right now, silver's trading at a price point of $19.17. Uh, silver also didn't take out uh, its higher swing with volume. Uh, now we're gonna go test the lower swing of uh, $18.40, and we'll see if they have any juice in order to get uh, down into that area, number one, and then take that area out. We take a look at the small caps. What do we have with the IWM? IWM also getting taken apart. IWM in four hours has just given back uh, all the trading since August 5th. We have 38 million shares coming off that high. That's after you made a high out there with 16 million shares. And what you're going to see out here, and this is where the ETF structures are very dangerous. They're great when they're going up, and they're dangerous when they're going down. And what it is, folks, is this, is that every time you have equities that sell inside the ETF structure, guess what? The ETF structure has to sell. As the ETF structure has to sell, what ends up happening? They, they sell the equities that are inside the ETF structure. Dangerous market right now. Make sure you get your stops in. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow trading down uh, 295. We get the Nasdaq down 103. S&Ps are off uh, 38. We take a look at percentages out here. You have the Dow Industrials down 1.5%. S&Ps and the Nasdaq are down uh, 2%. Inside the Dow Industrials, uh, they're all in the negative. Okay, so if we take a look at them, um, the best leader, even though it's negative, it would be J.P. Morgan. It's down 3 tenths of a percent. Uh, bringing the averages down, you have Verizon is down 3%. A uh, dollar sixty-one. Coca-Cola is off two point seven percent. One twenty-two. Boeing's down two point six, and GE's down two point five. Uh, if you do take a look at GE, GE had already broken its B point of an ABC structure down. That break occurred on Tuesday when it uh, took out the um, B point, which was uh, thirty-one dollars. You're at thirty uh, twenty twenty-four right now. That structure says uh, a that it wants to get on to twenty-nine. First off. What you also have with GE is you have a high volume low at that $29. Inside the NDX 100, what do we have? Let's take a look at the NDX. NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. Uh, the strength inside the NDX 100 is TripAdvisor. That's up 7 tenths of 1% or 45 cents. You have uh, Checkpoint Software is up 4 tenths. You have uh, Norwegian Cruise Line up uh, 2 tenths. And, Delt and Dollar Tree is up uh, one tenth taken away from it. Uh, you have Skyworks uh, Solutions, which is down 5.8 percent. Um, SBA Communication is down 5.4. Viacom is 5.1, and NXPI is down 4.7 percent. Uh, if we go over and we take a look at the something I want to bring up here, this is important to wrap your head around. Well, first off, if we bring up the trend, and the trend is a gauge of um, are there sellers? Are there fair? All of the above? Well, guess what, folks? You're down this much and there's not. Uh, <laughs> bottom line, uh, the trend right now is running at 1.20. So that is saying that there's not fear in the marketplace. And what does that do? That keeps the probability higher that you're going to get a follow through on Monday on the way down. That being said, I want to go over and take a look at the tick. Now, the tick is important to look at because you want to combine these. Now, inside the tick index today, you're going to look, if you keep your eye on this, you're going to look at a minus 1651. What's important when you're using this, if you use this tick index, folks, okay? So if, if when I first bring this up on a daily and you look at it, it's like, oh, man, that's, that's pretty high. Well, guess what? That index, that was on the open. And on my first book, you know, I, I had all the parameters inside this tick. On the open, folks, you don't pay attention to the tick. 
at all, okay? That was the opening of the market. And the reason being is this. What the tick is, is the tick is an indication of sales and buys, whether they're on the bid or the offer, okay? And on the open, when you have futures down like this, bottom line, you're always going to get a monster down tick. If you have a market that futures were up 10, 15 percent, uh, 15 points, you're going to get a monster one on the way up. It, it doesn't correlate. It doesn't work on a probability basis when you're looking at the tick. You let the market open after the first 15 minutes, then you're watching that tick. And if you look at it in that context, we did get a large down tick. It's minus 14, 27. But guess what? That was the first down tick. That down tick didn't occur until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And that, that, that is not enough. That is not enough to get a bounce going in the marketplace. Uh, what, I, what I do uh, expect that we're going to see here, and this is going to be really wild to watch how this sh shakes out, and this is what it is. Option expiration is next Friday. So what you have here, okay, if we look at the S&Ps for a second, I'm going to bring the spies up. So, and there's going to be, this is going to be a little trader's paradise, I suspect, and this is what it can be. The spy right now is at 2137. If we're, by Wednesday, if we're down to, um, or that's the SPX, right? The SPX is 21. Yeah, I'll put the SPY up so we can, you can see the correlation. And I had a question yesterday of what the SPX is. So let me just put this SPX up again. The SPX, folks, is the cash S&P. And the reason I look at the cash S&P so much is this, is that it does not trade number one. So all 500 stocks have to trade in the S&P in order to, generate the cash number. What happens is that, that this number, the cash number, is a much harder number to move because of that fact versus if we go over to the futures or the SPY. That, so that being said, let's go back over to the SPY. So when you look at the SPY, you're down four bucks, right? Well, this market is setting up. And what this market's setting up for, which is going to be really a trip, is that you can get right down to two, $210, maybe even get lower. Maybe, you know, we'll see whether it gets down to 202 Th That, if we get down there as fast and furious, guess what, folks? The bounce will come Thursday or Friday going into option expiration week. So bottom line, you stay tuned here at TFNN because we get a lot of great option traders out here at TFNN. Our man, Mr. David White, is amazing uh, coming into option expiration. And this market is just deviant enough, okay? And what's so cool, okay, is that what would end up happening is that you'd have the bearishness go, go on beyond on belief. And believe me, I, my claws got bigger this whole week. My, my nails here, my, everyone's going to kill me because I, I can't touch anything, you know. Um, but bottom line is that you want to get set up for this because you'll get a bounce. Nothing goes down forever, nothing goes up forever. Longer term, yeah, I think this is the beginning of a, Big downdraft, okay? Shorter term coming into option expiration, guess what? A lot, a lot of good numbers out here that can be made. Now, physical gold, not down that bad. XAU, HUI, this could be a real problem, folks, and this is what it is. So the XAU is down $5.46. Um, I'm, in fact, I'm going to shift gears on you for one second. I'm going to go to over to an Eco Eagle. One of our dot tigers are talking about an Eco Eagle. An Eco Eagle is giving a huge amount of information here. And this is what it is. An Eco Eagle is down $3.46, monster volume. It's, it looks like it's gonna be a big ABC down. And if an Eco Eagle's an ABC down, and there's a few others out here like this, guess what? The GDX is gonna do one, the XAU's gonna do one, the is gonna do one, because as we bounce this week, the most deviant thing that it could do, it did, meaning all the golds so you got to keep an eye on it. I suspect we're going to get our first indication of that inside the AEM. The cool thing is, folks, okay, is that you're going to be buying at a lot lower prices. And, and inside the gold equities and the silver equities, you do have strength and volume at highs. This is a, you know, I've talked about this many times. This is a correction, and I expect it's going to be a larger correction. And the reason is that because we went from a price point in January to June and July, that was extraordinary. If we go now look at the XAU, what you're gonna see in the XAU is this. XAU's down $5.40, you're trading at $93.84. Um, bottom line, I suspect 
Monday, Tuesday, you're going to go after this $89, uh, and we'll see if it breaks it with volume. Uh, the way that, if I go watch, if I go to the GDX for a second, what you're going to see, uh, to me, the GDX is going right for the gap. There's a, there's a gap. Your A to B, C to D structure is set up to go to $22, and we get a gap that's wide open at $22.48. You go to the Gold Bugs Index. We take a look at Gold Bugs Index. What do you have with the Gold Bugs Index? That's down $12.43. You're at $230. Uh, the B point on this is at uh, 219. And that also has a wide open gap at 205. And that's where I suspect this baby's going. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. If you're looking to discover a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new Market Safe Focus Commodity CD from Everbank. This five year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to six equally weighted commodities, including gold, silver, copper, nickel, soybeans, and sugar, in one powerful CD. With annual pricing caps of 50% per component, you could earn up to a 50% upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. Take advantage of this financial resource designed to grow with the times. The October 13th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. My name is Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability and host of the Trader's Ed Show heard daily here at TFNN.com. On Wednesday, September 14th at 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a special one-hour event, The Ultimate Reversal Patterns. I'll teach subscribers how to identify and trade market tops and bottoms. You'll learn Tom DeMarc's TD Setup, TD Sequential, and TD Combo. Plus, I'll show you how to identify Gartley buy and sell patterns, which means you'll learn how to master the D point of any A to B equals CD pattern. More importantly, I'll teach you the most powerful pattern of all by price relative strength divergent pattern. These patterns work for stocks, for ETFs, future contracts, currencies, and these patterns work on every time frame. By signing up for Mastering Probability right now, you get the first month of my newsletter service for only $49, and that includes Wednesday's Ultimate Reversal Patterns webinar. This $49 offer is only good through September 14th, so act now. At only $49 for your first month, I guarantee this is an investment that you won't regret. For all the details of the upcoming workshop and reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFN.com now. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is down uh, 301. You get the NASDAQ off 102. Then the S&Ps are down uh, 39. And, uh, you know, folks, I, I know that the way this market has been trading, uh, you know, people love to buy uh, basically dips. Um, if you're going to buy a dip, man, you, bet, you better put a stop in immediately. And if you're uh, trading the short side and you think you want to trade both sides of this market the next few days, I would be leery of that also. Be and the reason is this, is that the way this market has, has traded today, okay, because believe me, I, I was really tempted, you know, I'm, of course I'm on the short side right now, but I was really tempted to trade both sides because you can trade both sides on big days, okay? 
you do not want to do that. What has happened out here today is this. Let me show you inside this S&P. Is that you'll get these tiny little bounces, right? And then you get slammed once again. So the positioning, if you're a short-term trading, the positioning would be that you stay in the position and you just keep bringing your stop down. You don't, you do not go on both sides because the way this is unloading right now, I think has to do, and I talked about this a little bit earlier, it has to do about the ETF structure and the indices. Because you, you have to wrap your head around this. Every month, you know, the last time we had, let's say, a, we had a correction in January, which is a long time ago. We had a correction last August, which is, of course, 13 months ago. Prior to that, you had a correction, what, two or three years ago. The ETF structures have overtaken the market in general. Each, every year, they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, so watch what happens. Because of that, when markets go up, it's very easy for them to go up. So you and I, we, let's say you buy individual equities. Whatever equity that ETF structure, ha uh, that equity happens to be in, sector-wise, that puts fuel inside the ETF. The sponsor of the ETF buys the ETF. As the sponsor buys the ETF, what do you think it does? It turns around and puts more fuel into all of those equities. Now, just change the dynamic. When the dynamic changes, which we have, is that what you see is that when the equities get sold, the ETF has to get sold. It's called it's net asset value. It's, at the end of the day, all these ETFs has to be as close as possible to the net asset value when they add up what the equities are that are inside that ETF. So on the way down, that gets so dangerous, and that's always the chicken or the egg. Which one is it? What are they selling? Are they selling the ETF? Are they selling the equity? The ETF, and this is where this gets to, to be a situation that it is not a emotional buy or sell. The ETFs get sold dynamically through machines, end of story. There's not one of these, maybe I sell, maybe I buy. No, they have to get it done to get the net asset value correct. Okay, so the first get go down which this would be today is a problem um what i've always thought about is like okay so and and it does change i mean it'll get to the point that okay the selling's done and then the buying will start again okay that's just how it goes but you want to wrap your head around that because what does happen is that in the smaller sectors that the equities have larger weightings they can turn more problematic because they can go very quickly very quickly. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We take a look at some of the higher volume stocks out here today. This is what you have. And we are going to have volume today, folks. You have uh, uh, Advanced Micros down 28 cents. You got Alcoa down 50 cents. Marbell's down a buck and a half. Um, you have uh, Sprint off 11 cents. We have uh, Wells Fargo down 97 cents. How about Wells Fargo, WFC? This, this is about as bizarre as you get. Wells Fargo opens up Two million accounts, <laughs> they, you know, false accounts, this is, okay? They fire 5,000 people yesterday. Uh, if you didn't hear about this, this is just amazing. Fi they fired 5,300 people, okay? So th this is how this thing works. And, and I'm sure that many of you probably you may have may not um, got asked this. Uh, we happen to use Wells Fargo, so... They've, they've asked us this before, which is really wild. So you have an account at Wells Fargo, right? You have an account. You, you put basically, you know, if you put a large de deposit on, what they want to do is this. Instead of putting a regular checking account, what they want to do immediately is that they want to say, oh, we want to put this in another account. I, I never let them do it, okay? Bottom line is that that's what that was all about. So you'd, you'd make a deposit in the bank. They turn around and say, okay, we, in, in our case, they always ask us and it never happened. It seems that the, the cases that they're talking about is that they're saying that people have made a deposit, and what they did is they turned around, let's say you get the checking account, let's say you put in 50 grand, 100 grand, whatever that is. You, make, you put it in, and then they take a portion of that, whether it's 50 grand, they put it into another account, they take 50, they put it into another account, so that it looks like that you had two or three accounts, and they had the salespeople, they had a reward-based 
program like this, okay? Well, bottom line is that they got sued, you know, because there's, there's plenty of folks that said that they didn't want that or allow it, um, and they uh, chopped, uh, you know, 5,400 people yesterday. The amazing thing to me about that whole deal is that it really didn't get a lot of press, which is just, like, unbelievable. Because these, these are the banks, folks. These are the banks you're supposed to be able to trust. Right. Give me a break. Unreal. 877-927-6648. Let's go over and take a look at the euro. So the euro, correlation-wise, um, what we have is this. Uh, euro right now is trading at uh, $1.12. And it looks to me like well, this baby's going to first make its way down to a buck eleven. Uh, we'll see whether it wants to move down into this uh, $109 area. Um, you know, the bond market, folks, is running the whole deal right now. Uh, if we do look at the 10-year uh, the yield, it's 1.67. It has a lot further to go. Uh, when we take a look at how the 10-year is traded this past year, the low is 1.35. The high is 2.3. You know, so it's not like rates are going to go through the moon. I don't, I don't expect rates, rates are going to go through the moon. What you're seeing out here right now is this, is that the Federal Reserve may or may not go up on short-term rates, meaning more likely in December. The market has already gone up in them, and it looks like the way that the market is actually going up in them with conviction that it looks like it wants to take them up higher. So what happens? Well, this is what ends up happening. Watch. When we go over and we take a look at the Fed Fund Futures Rate, the Fed Fund Futures Rate today, this is a tradable, um, uh, tradable equity, folks. It's not an equity. It's, it's a tradable instrument. So there's a 30% chance that they'll go up in September, September 21st. There's a 34% chance they're going to go up in November. There's a 60% chance that they're going to go up in December. And this is how this works. It's not that the Fed has to look at this and say, okay, we're going up. But what does happen is that when the market prices it up, it is much easier for the Federal Reserve to go up. That's how this works. So when you're looking at this, and that's why the market basically today is you're saying, oh no, they're really gonna go up because your probability is much higher. When they went up last December, that rate the probability was only 37% that they would go up and they went up. When you're talking about 60, that probability is December is at us. And, of course, the question would be, will they go up in September? You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. 
The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 332. You get the NASDAQ off 112. S&Ps are down uh, 43. And uh, this could get a little nasty coming into the close out here, folks. We've been building cars. Uh, for approximately, let's go take a look at this. It, my, my, my point is, is this. I suspect we're going to get another leg down in this market before we close. Uh, it has 20 minutes, and, you know, yeah, we're down big. But guess what? You break out, you break the uh, 2134 on this S&P, you can get another 10 points pretty quick. And that's what it's trying to do right now. Uh, so what you do have, um, bottom line, coming into um, the... End of the day, end of the weekend, uh, all of the above, uh, this is going to be problematic because uh, it, it comes right back to what selling, who's selling. And uh, if we go take a look at the SPY, let's, actually, let's, let's look at the Qs, the NDX100. Uh, what, you, what you're looking at with the Qs, the Qs right now, they're going after it right now. Uh, the, spy, the SPY looks like they're going to make it more than, me, than the Qs right now. So... The Qs right now, uh, let me actually look at the future. NQ. Yeah, the spies want to make it. The spy, they, well, okay, so check this out. This is, oh, man, this is going to be sick. So in the Qs, the Qs you're talking about 46.93. Um, what you want to watch for, and this is intraday what I do all the time, is that one can drag the other. And it looks to me like the spy is going to go first. And if the spy goes... Um, and it has to go by like well, we just we just went so we got we got two points you get three more points in the spy which I think we'll get then that like the the cues will go right after it they it, they just one drags the other down that's what it comes down to and right now you get the spy at uh, 2132 and the uh, and what you have here also folks is this is that we were building cars for lower price since two o'clock this afternoon and that's always dangerous. Um, when I was talking about those little bounces you get, I, I could see the bounces got sold way too quick. And that's not you and I selling it. What it is, you get a little bounce going, right? And then a big operator comes in, bang, hits it again. You get a little bounce going, bang, they hit it again. Um, you know, that's, that's the way these markets trade, man. And that's the way these markets trade, particularly um, what we're going to have here now is more than likely we're going to have volume off the high. If you get volume off of a high, a couple things happen. You'll get fast moves down. And the case of how we've been up here, you know, we've been in a heavy distribution phase for a long period of time. You know, we didn't move. This is the, you know, the last time we had looked, I believe the statistic was, was it 1965? I mean, it was some outrageous statistic that we had gone sideways. Um, and in the case of, Myself and the out of time in the trade, well, guess what? There's no volume up there. Uh, now what you have is that we're back to where we were trading on August 11th, I mean, July 11th, and that's taken all of, what, six and a half hours. You know, so uh, it's, it's, a, it's a problem. The aspect of, uh, let's go over to the, the FTSE uh, in, in the UK. Uh, FTSE out here today was down 81. Uh, that I suspect that's nothing compared to where we are, but you'll see the FTSE go after 6,700 uh, when we open Sunday. That's at 6,776 right now. If we take a look at the DAX in Germany, yeah, thanks, Duffy. It is 1965, which is just crazy. 
Um, if we look at the DAX in Germany, uh, DAX in Germany, you know, held up pretty good too. Uh, bottom line, the DAX in Germany. Now, we're 10,573. If the DAX gets inside 10,474, guess what? That sets up a large downdraft uh, that'll basically take that uh, baby down. Let's see that one more time. Yeah, that's going to be a huge problem because then you're in the lower range. You're in the lower range in the DAX, then, you, then you're talking about 9,200. Uh, the way that this uh, corrections come in and also, folks, okay, is the perfect setup. And what I mean specifically is this, is that you had the summer over, they distributed at the highs all summer long, no problem. And what happens is that when you have a downdraft that's this fast, well, the large funds folks aren't buying because most of them are out of the marketplace. Not most of them, they're going to get burnt too. But what I mean is that the real distribution that folks know, that, okay, roll it up, run it up, sell, 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 wait for monster correction where you are, and there's no buyers. When there's no buyers and there's no bid, it's vicious. And as is anything, it's always easy to buy something. Who can you sell it to? And in this particular case, we have a buy a strike out here today. And what we don't have, what we still don't have right now, which is pretty amazing, okay? We still don't have any fear. There's zero fear in this marketplace. So once you start a correction like this, uh, bottom line, you have to get fear in order to get the market to bounce at all. And there's zero fear. Right now, the, the trend is at 1.27. And when you're at one, that's, that's as much buying as selling. So someone's still buying out here. Uh, we take a look at the tick. The tick did have one um, nice uh, downdraft, uh, minus 1,400, 1,427, I think. Yeah, 1,427, and that was at 2, at 2 o'clock. Now, what does happen at 2 o'clock, and this is what's pretty cool. You know, I know Dave was talking about margin calls, um, and people will be talking about margin calls. What does happen is that the 2 o'clock time frame doesn't have to do with margin calls. What the 2 o'clock time frame does have to do with is if you are in a mutual fund, um, and you basically want out, you'll get the close of tomorrow, that, uh, the close of tonight. But you have to call up and say, okay, I want out of the marketplace. That has to be done by 2 o'clock. That's, that's, so that 2 o'clock time frame on updrafts or downdrafts are, are important to keep your eye on. And that's, that's what we got at that 2 o'clock time frame. That was a huge amount of selling, one button. See you later. They want out, 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 and they want out pretty quick. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at uh, little Walmart. So Walmart is trading at a price point of 70.44. Uh, you're down $1.39, uh, and we'll see uh, if how Walmart number one wants to get back to the 69 area because uh, that's where that's the last time it had any volume. You know, Walmart has been in a high-end consolidation since the May 29th area. You know, so. These numbers, you know, a lot of these different equities have been in this type of consolidation for a long time. And Walmart, when this was a counter trend bounce, it had only got up to ice anyway. Walmart is down from a price point of 90 bucks. Uh, Big Blue, we take a look at uh, Big Blue. Uh, Big Blue out here is trading at a price. Big Blue is trading at uh, 156, down $3.02, $3, dollars uh, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $
Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is uh, down at 342. You get the NASDAQ off 119. S&Ps are down uh, 45. And don't forget, folks, at TFNN, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we do live programming, 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 in the afternoon. Tuesday, Thursday, 7 o'clock in the morning to 6 in the afternoon. No matter where you are right now, if you happen to be listening in, in your car, in the AM radio, remember that you can get us 24 hours a day right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com, hit Tiger TV. You're going to get some great HD audio as well as video. Uh, Sunday night. So let's check it out. What do we have? Uh, volumes are huge out here, folks. Bottom line, uh, the SPY out here has uh, done 187 million. That's after making highs. Uh, this is this is just crack you up. You made a high with 53 million, and then you tested the high with 76 million. The NDX 100. What do you have inside the NDX? You're coming down with 45 million. You make a high with uh, 11. Yeah, really? Okay. Bottom line is that no one was in the store. They were buying the product. Uh, when they take the rug out, it comes out all at once. The um, IWM, same type of setup uh, inside the IWM. Um, that's a small cap. Small caps make a high with uh, 16 million shares. You coming down with 43 million. So follow through. This is what you, you set up here. You get option expiration next Friday. So what I expect you're going to see we have no fear. The market's down good, but you know, no fear. What you're going to see Sunday night, futures will open back up Sunday night. There's going to be some problems here. And more than likely, what you're going to see, you're going to see a gap down once again. And uh, bottom line, if you're long and strong, get your stops in, folks. Um, it's, going to be a, it's going to be a tough market here. Uh, the reason 
being one of the reasons is that is this is that we went when we went up folks see we're in the middle of nowhere now when we went up we stayed we had gone up um june june 27th you made a low right and then you have a cold consolidation but from the price point of in the spy from like 210 dollars all the way up to those highs of 218 it can go right back to 210 in a heartbeat and right now you're 213 you know so yeah it's only three and a half points but three and a half points on top of what you have, that fast and furious, that would be uh, 12 hours taking back. Uh, then you make the case that it's 12 hours taking back all the way from um, April 20th. That's in the SPY. And the NDX 100 and the NDX 100 itself, folks, um, was giving the best clues that this thing's going to be bad, down, fast, all of the above. Um, the Qs, they're at 114. They're making their way down to 111. And what you want to remember is this, okay? This is the big number. If we go to the SPY and take a look at the SPY, it's the August of 2015 swing lows that this very well will get to, can get to all of the above. Right now you're at 213, and guess what, folks? This is going to do it. So check this out. Where we're trading right now, if we, if we close under 213.78, we're at 213.60, you are in, we are in the lower range. You have a failure on price, failure on volume. Guess what? Can't bust them up. You know where the bust down is, folks? This is a disgusting bust down. Bust down is down at a buck 82, and we are at 213. Because you've, once you get back inside that, you know, it'll take a while. So, well, this won't be a one way deal down. Get your stops in. You're long, get your stops in. Guess what? That's, that's, that's the bottom line. Um, gold, silver, uh, the bond market is running that market right now. That's what's running it. And I suspect the bond market is actually going to run all of the markets because the bond market is pushing the dollar higher. This market cannot stand a high dollar. And it looks to me that most of these currencies are actually going to get higher. The dollar will be the best currency as it's going higher. And what that sets up, that sets up more pain for the S&P on the way down. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Look forward to speaking right back here Monday morning, 8 o'clock. Wow! Go get them, folks! You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN.